really realized that the more, like, that successful people move very quickly. You know what I'm saying? And you'll even notice, like, it's like, I can't really explain, on, on big things, if you watch me, like, I might not, um, I might not, like, what's the word? I might not be the most, like, um, what am I trying to say? Disciplined person ever that you've ever seen, right? But when it comes to big things, I move and I nail my shit hard as fuck. You don't really see me, you know what I mean? Other than taxes, just being real, like, other than that, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the only thing, but everything else, I run and I attack and I, and I move that quickly, I'm quickly. So successful people, right, I'm, very, I'm a very tenacious person. So you guys might be more tenacious on the little things, but I'm very, very, I'm very tenacious on the big things. Like I go and I fucking attack on it. And so my thing is, is you start gaining this momentum. If you start getting in the habit of moving quickly and moving deliberately, like I move with intent. I like you guys are still, um, let's leave the training, uh, like not the training that we just went over, but you guys are still like not doing things with intent. You don't know, wanna know why? It's because you're not aware. Right, so you're in, um, you're in what? Uh, there's unconscious incompetence. You're in unconscious competence where you're just aware. You're aware there's something you need to do, but you don't know what it is. So the question you guys start asking yourself right now is, how do I heighten my awareness level? Right? How do I heighten my awareness level? And the way you do it, everybody should have their own whiteboard. And I, I'm gonna be honest, that's something that like everyone's using mine, how, like. I don't like when people touch my whiteboard because I like to write down my awareness things on there, my shit's getting in your race. My thing is, is that you guys are all entrepreneurs. Do you know how many times I've been here and I've been going to, the, to Walmart to get a whiteboard? Um, every time we go to Walmart, I go, I go over that section. And I just said last night too, I'm like, man, I'm like a millionaire here. And it's crazy that uh, so many people don't, uh, don't have whiteboards and I'm over here fucking millionaire. I got like four of them and I'm still looking for more. I can't have enough whiteboards. You should have, you all should have your own whiteboards to write shit down and map shit the fuck out at all times. Uh, there should be no, because here's my thing. This is not, this is not gonna heighten your awareness level. Okay, uh, there's a game plan on the board, right? Your game plan. Okay, then, you know, then you come through, hey, take a picture, boom, it's gone, right? How often do you guys check your fucking pictures in your phone? No. Okay, so you're, you're not, you're not aware of it anymore. So your game plan's gone. When I write down my game plan, it stays on the board usually. If you go to, in my bedroom, it stays on my, it stays, my game plan stays there. So my point is, is that my awareness level comes from my whiteboard usually. It makes me aware of what I need to do every day. It makes me aware of my game plan. It makes me aware of my plan of attack. It's my awareness. I'm, I'm using this to my benefit to make sure I don't tap out of the big things that I need to get done. So you've got to have... I mean, bro, it's, what is this? Like, I mean, I don't even know, 40 bucks for a whiteboard? Like, get a, get a whiteboard. There should be, as an entrepreneur, you, you're at a certain, like, investing into your, your business, and it's like, I don't care if people are using my shit, and it might, it might sound annoying, like, like I'm being petty. I'm annoyed because I'm aware of this. You get what I'm saying? And so for me, I'm like, man, where's this, where's that? Like, why, like, charging blocks, all this other shit. I don't use other people's shit, right? I, if I, I use my own shit. Because what I'm saying is, is that you've got to get in the habit of being independent and relying on yourself and stop being sloppy. You're being sloppy. You're being, you're, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Matt Rosa is not going to go around using other, other people's shit. Is it, that's, a, that's not, that's not, and I, again, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not upset. I'm not talking about none of this, okay? What I'm getting on, what I'm getting at is that you've got to be more deliberate. That's not a deliberate thing. If you're walking around using something, using this, using that, you're really being random. You could just tell you're being random. You get what I'm saying? So what you got to do is be more uh, deliberate and be more, more intentional. Take it more serious on that on the, that big grind. You've got to start adulting and maturing as well as is what, is what I'm realizing. In order for you to make a lot of money, you've got to be a mature person. There's some people on our team that I'm not going to name who they are, but there's some people on our team that are, are very immature. And the reason why, think about it. Think about the people that are very, very, very immature. Now think about this. And I don't mean this in a negative way, but get, so grasp what I'm saying. Can you see them right now making a lot of money? Like a lot, like be like, I'm saying in the future, like in the future as they grow, yes. We know that's for sure possible, but I'm saying right now, right the second, bow, nail them with a, a Lamborghini and a hundred, can you actually see it? Now, now what you do is let's look at um, people that are more composed on the squad. People that are, that are grinding a little bit more com composed, 
Uh, can, can anyone think of someone? That uh, who? Cynthia McKay. S. 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 I like that one. S. Now we nail S with the Lamborghini. Does it not fit? Yep. Yeah. Why is that? It's because she's composed, she's on her shit, she's moving deliberately, right? So think about that, right? You're mature, you're ma you gotta understand, like, even throughout my day, it's like my grind is, my grind is, is running my business. What's my running my business? I'm dealing with rental cars, I'm dealing with Airbnb still, I'm dealing with uh, routing numbers, uh, signage, I'm dealing with, I'm still dealing with other shit. I'm a, I'm a mature individual. You've gotta be, you've gotta mature quickly too, if you want to start speeding up your time, like we all think that that we need to, we all think that growing is so success is what spiritual. spiritual, right? So we all think that growing is just grinding. No, it's maturing on everything. You get what I'm saying? So what you've got to understand is, is you've got to mature. Uh, you've got to be thinking like you're not going to be able to make a million dollars if you're, if you're like just ra randomly doing shit, like, like just, you're just randomly doing shit. Yeah, you're great at grinding. Why would you, how are you gonna make a million? Th think about that, like logically think about what I'm saying. Sorry. How the fuck are you gonna make a million dollars just because you're good at grinding? You're not good at life though. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Sorry. You gotta be good at life. You gotta be mature at life. You know what I mean? You've gotta be, you've gotta adapt. Like think about this. Um, do you guys, do you guys, who knows, like maybe an 18 year old uh, to 21 year old that's making multiple six figures or seven figures. Do you guys know anyone that you can mention out loud? That's crazy. There's so many. There's so many. There's someone name one. I just can't, I can't think of one either. I just want an example. Some of them are I'm talking about in, in the world. Yeah, Of anything. I really like a Twitch streamer. Who? YouTuber, Twitch streamer. That 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 one YouTuber that I think his name is Caleb. Yeah. Okay, Caleb. He's uh, I think he's 19, 20. Yeah. Something like that, right? He has his own house, his own blah blah blah, all this other shit. Now think about it. Why do we say to people, oh my God, they're 19? Is it because they're making a lot of money, or it's because they're really mature? More mature. Because they're more mature. Yeah. More homegirl. Who? The one we went to dinner with. Yeah. Exactly. So you, 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 do you guys get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like that, that they're, they know how to deal with life. They're maturing. They're not, they're not just, uh, you gotta, I guess like what I'm saying as well is you gotta act and you gotta like learn to act as if, if, because my thing is, is a lot of the things that, that, um, that I'm, I provide and shit, like just for, for all of us is, 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 um, what's, what am I trying to say? If we were to take that away, okay, it, it would, it would, you would really be thinking, like, if I were to die right now, it would be a lot different on, like, on a lot of shit, if that makes sense. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And it's because you're being reliant instead of being independent, right? So you want to start making sure you're being de uh, um, independent and not, like, and again, I'm not talking about, like, you guys are very, you guys clean up and all this other shit, so I want you to get what I'm saying. I don't want you to think I'm like... You know what I mean? I'm not. The no, it's not even the principle. I'm not. I'm not trying to make this about myself. I don't, I'm. I'm really trying to train you. Principles for success. Yeah, yeah. Principles for success. So you guys got to be thinking like, you know, all this little shit around. It's just like we're just using it. We're just using. We're just using. We're just using it. But if I were to go away, would you even? Ha would you have that? Would you go get one? Yeah. Why don't you have them? Why aren't you using one? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Why? Why is it you have to use mine? Why don't you have your own? Why is it, do you understand? Because we're, I'm not talking about anything big. I'm not talking about an Airbnb. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the little obvious shit that everyone can afford, no one's getting it. It, it, it. So my thing is, when I was on the come up, what did I do? I said I threw everything out, I bought, I changed my, I changed my environment to my, into my grind, my grind environment, right? Are you changing, like, this is my grind environment. I bought it. That's my grind environment. I bought it, right? Like, for my, for my grind. You didn't buy anything for your grind, so how are you telling the universe that you're gonna go? You're not showing any faith. That's you're using you're using my grind, not your, you're using my grind, not your grind. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So like you gotta buy something of your own that's saying this is my whiteboard that's gonna take me to success. I am buying this, declaring to the universe that this is the, that, that's what you're doing. 
you can't just randomly you, you're you're not you're not controlling your environment if I, I bought this intentionally you're not controlling it you're going into my environment yeah, yeah. you're not creating your own environment does this make sense yeah. on a spiritual level I bought this I, again I, I don't want to sound like I don't like the word I but you guys get what I'm trying yeah, to say right yeah, now yeah, yeah. okay so I'm saying I'm controlling my environment by buying this because I made a deliberate decision to buy this to make money did you though yeah. you get what I'm saying so now what's happening is, is in the spiritual side of success, remember, we're all, we're all kind of in our own worlds. Yeah. So in my world, I bought this and, and the universe knows to take me to success. Mm -hmm. In your world, you're just, uh, you're just in my environment instead of making your own environment. Now, the second, it's almost like different bubbles. Like this is my bubble, okay? So this is going to be my bubble, right? Then this is going to be, um, let's just say yours, all right? And then, um, let, that doesn't matter, let's just keep it like that. So, actually, let's go, let's go, um, Dre, right? And then I just, can just say, um, Edgar, hypothetically, it doesn't really matter. So, what I'm saying is, in the grand scheme of things, this is what your environment, this is what appears to be your environment. That's, this is a, all of us in a room, and we're just floating around. But, and so what I'm saying is, is that if you zoom in more though for success, when I buy a whiteboard, it's over here in my, I, in, in my world. But when you guys see it, you guys see it, you guys see it, so you're using the whiteboard over here, you're using this whiteboard, right? You're using the whiteboard that's here, so you're using it. Okay, cool, it's getting used, hypothetically, hypothetically, and again, this is just hypothetically, right? I don't, I don't want to look like, like, again, this is like, I don't want this to be a weird topic. So, whiteboard, this isn't, so now this is getting used, but I'm the only one that made the decision, though. Yeah, so, this is my environment. That's what I'm saying. So, this is my bubble that I created in my head. But you didn't create your own bubble in this world. You're just in my world. So, and now what's going on is you think that, so this is, now get this, this is now more so what it looks like. So here's my whiteboard, right? Here's my whiteboard, that, so that's the whiteboard. Then let's put, okay, now let's do it like this. Great, Edgar, right? Ashley, awesome. This is the reality of it. You're, you're, ma you're making yourself in my world. You're making yourself in my environment. You're, you're not creating your own. Yeah. You should be what what you fill in here. You like you fill in what's in your world, right? Um, hypothetically, um, fucking it, yeah yeah a planner, pen. right? Pen. Okay, so now now Drake is making it saying this is what's taking it. This is what's taking it, right? It doesn't matter. You guys get what I'm trying to say? Yes. Yeah. Does that make sense? A lot. So that's what uh, what I'm getting at. This is, this is randomness going on, and you're not in control. So everyone's in this environment here. I'm in this environment. And so that's why it's like you've got you to really think. If you, if you really pay attention to me, it's very, 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 very rarely do I use, use anyone else's shit. Even someone else's charging block, unless someone offers me it or, or whatever, very rarely will I ever use anyone else's shit. Why? I, I, I honestly, I'm, I think it just has to do with my maturity. Do you get what I'm saying? You've got to you you've got to you've got to understand that this is what's going to create your environment. Okay. So now that that's speeding up, and I want to get through the rest of this because I'm almost done with. So that 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 speeds your environment up. The quicker you can learn to be deliberate, the quicker like you've got to like like look like think about this. It's like anything I'm doing is with intention. You, like, I can't, like, even, I can't, it's just, you've got to move with intention, and it's going to speed time up for you, okay? So when you're in that other, that big, you're in that world uh, wandering, when I'm in my world, it's moving fast. So now what is it, what happens is, is I become an overnight success, and everyone else doesn't understand why. Do you get what I'm saying? You become, Drake, Drake, pop, boom, all of a sudden successful, right? And it's because everyone, I shouldn't already erase it yet. But it's because everyone is in this world wandering around. Meanwhile, we're in our own world. And, and there, this is the outside. This is what appears to be. This is the reality. And so you've got to be conscious 
of your world, the difference between your world and someone else's world, yeah. right? Because how do you, how is it possible for you to create something in my world, yeah. right? So it'll pop up, but it started in your head, not mine. So it started in your world, right? Now I'm aware of it, I see it, but you created it, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's how you gotta like you start speeding up success when, once you once you do that. Now. I don't know how or why I started getting these like weird clicking moments with time. I used to hate time, like the things that they teach you, you know what I mean, like wormholes and yeah. all this other shit. But now this is what I started to learn. Or start, I personally um, started to realize. Okay. So let this be success version of you. Right? Success, ver uh, success version of you. Let this be, uh, what's a good word for that? I don't want to put a negative word in there. Now? Huh? Reality? Mm. Current self or? Uh, yeah, I'd say current self. I don't like the reality sounds like we're content or something like, like all that that's not changing. Current self. Oh yeah, that's cool. It's current self. Cool. Okay, now, uh, now let this be a um, uh, success version, so higher self, or higher version. What's the, what, what do we believe the top rank of the company is going to be? Sure. Alright, so let this be the chairman of one million. You know what, I want to I wanna be, I wanna be on your level right now though. I want to be on your level, because you, no, no, realistically you're probably not thinking about chairman of one million, you're probably thinking about Chairman 10. Alright? Now, current self. This is what's crazy. Is that now we talked about maturity and all this other shit, right? So this is all I'm this is all very deliberate training right now. So now I ain't gonna lie, from my point of view, this is like fucking perfectly straight. And I sat down, I'm like, God damn, that's pretty <laughs> crazy. Like that's so crazy how bad that is. Um so I want you to be think. I want you to look at this, right? It's like same thing. Okay, whatever. So <laughs> that's that's gonna represent a wormhole. Do you guys know what a wormhole is? Yeah. Okay, cool. So right, that's gonna represent a wormhole. And so you're over here, and you want to get to over here. Now, what ends up happening is, is this is what I what I personally believe. So. If you continue to make decisions in your world or move randomly, you will always stay here because why? Because you aren't moving with intent to go there. So you're just moving around and you're wondering why, because you're not, you're not saying, you're not, what, there's, a, write this down. So um, once you, the universe needs you to take, take a step. In order for you, to, for, in order for the universe to know where you want to go, the universe needs you to uh, to take the first step, right? Meaning you have to take an, an, an action move, okay? Now, if you take another step, then another step, then another step, what is what are we doing? If we take another step, then another step, then another step, what are we doing? Okay, so now if I'm walking slow, right? If I'm walking slow, what am I doing? If what am I? I if I'm um, walking around randomly, right? Am, am I going to be walking slow? Okay, so why would you ever run? Think about that. Why would you run? Get your right. Okay. So you want to get to the now think, reverse engineer what I just said now. Okay. All right. So he, he he said to get to the finish line. He said to get there faster. Perfect. Perfect. But reverse engineer more. Why would we run? Think deeper. Why would we run? To speed up time. To speed up time. Right. Is because the only reason why you run somewhere. You no know, one, no one's gonna run unless they know where they're going. So you're, so you're, you, the, the, you have intent to hit the finish line. You have intent, but if you're when you're walking or you're moving slower, you don't really have a lot of intent. Why is it that? So for example, right? Why is it? Think about this. You're walking through the mall. The mall's about to close, and you need to go grab some Gucci, right? Now you're moving. You're you're moving a lot quicker, right? You're moving fast. You're moving with intent because you're aware that there's a time. You're aware that you need to, your awareness is, is high now because you're aware now, right? Your awareness is creating you to move faster. Mm -hmm. so, the, so if you're unaware, it creates you to move slower. Now you're like, oh, fuck, it's closed, and you weren't even tripping. 
right? So, but now the other thing is, is your intent is you're moving fast because you know where you're going. But when you don't know where you're going, you're walking slowly. You're walking slowly. Now the other thing is, is that now go, let's go back to the whiteboard example about the, the different worlds and all this other shit. Um, if you're going to go on a run, are you going to go on a run in red bottoms? No. no. What are you going to do? Running shoes. Buy some running shoes, right? You're going to get some running shoes. So, so what you're saying is, is that you're making an, you're making an intention to get something for you to perform that task, yeah. right? So now you're declaring, you're declaring, okay, I'm doing this for me to get from point A to point B. That's why you're buying the running shoes. That's but it's the same thing is the whiteboard is like buying the running shoes. The whiteboard, you're saying, you're saying, I'm about to go fucking run, right? The, uh, it, it starts, do you guys, does that make sense? It's like, that is what you're doing. And that's what I'm saying. This is my shoe. Yeah. Like, you can, you can use mine when, when, you can use mine when I take it off if you want to, but why would you not be training next to me instead? Yeah. Right? Why, why would you, why would you not get your own running shoes and run, run all day instead of every once in a while? Think about this. How many times is it that, you, like, you gotta be thinking when I come in and you, I, respectfully, all of you guys can do, every, if, if I want this, respectfully, you roll, wipe it off, make sure you bring the shit back, all the other shit, right? Respectfully. Y'all you're, you're are very good at that. I got nothing bad to say. So, my point is, though, is uh, now think about it. You shouldn't have to do that. So, my point is, is when, so my thing is, is once you're doing that, you're not, you're saying, okay, I'll, right, I'll stop training and, and I'll stop running to my spot. So now you're gonna go. You, so you just you just bench yourself because you, yeah. you didn't want to buy your own shoes. And so now you decided you're deciding to sit over here while I'm in that world. Does that make sense? Okay, perfect. So now, um, so here's my point. Now, we when we start uh, when we want intent and we move deliberately when we start thinking like that and we start moving quickly because when we we move quicker when we have intent. So now the next thing is is you start operating. What did I say? You're aware of time, right? So you've got to become aware and start thinking, uh, be, be more aware and start thinking like a chairman tank. So here's my thing. If I were to give you all of my money that I have right now, would you know what to do with it? Because I, I barely know what to do with it, right? So would you know what to do with it? And so the, the answer, if you're not, if you're not doing the little things, you're not growing. You're not growing. You're being complacent technically, right? So my thing is, is that the maturity this is going to be a little bit of maturity right here, okay? And I, I, I firmly believe that, look, you can sit there and think and hope and wish and all the other shit all you want when it comes to, uh, you know, operating the higher level. And you can think and answer questions on the higher level. You can continue to do that. But at the same time, if you're not mature enough, the universe can't give it to you, right? Because God will never give you something that you're not ready to have. So think about it. God will not give you something you're not ready to have. So you got to really think. Are you ready for it? Now, the grind, you might be ready for it. Think about that. With the grind, you might be ready for the grind. But are you ready for the are you ready to do the other shit? No. So how do you if you if you start maturing quicker, then you will get there faster. That's why when we look at a 19-year-old and they're making a lot of money, and they look older to us in general though. They're they're like, damn. Yeah. They're 19? Like what the fuck? Right? And they're able, they're, they're so mature. So now, let me get to my point. So cool. What we're doing now is our awareness, all right? We want to be aware. Um, we want to be aware here and obviously aware here. But what we want to do is, is always operate here. We want to, I, I don't know how to spell operate, but whatever. All right? We want to operate here. So if we start operating here, what do you do? You start asking, you start answering your questions from over there. You start moving how, how come it, how come what, what we do, think about this, chairman is, is not, chairman, think about it like this, so chairman is a, is a life, is a life, it's a lifestyle, right, like, so meaning what I do in business, that money still, that I, I still get money from the business, so my point is, is that if chairman is a lifestyle, you've also got to be able to be, to be able to operate with that life, not just that business, I don't know if that makes sense. So what I'm saying is, is on a business, you guys think business, business, business as chairman, but you don't think life as chairman though. Yeah. You don't think 
right? When, when you go into to Walmart, are you thinking like you're in Walmart and you're moving like a chairman? When you're dealing with your bills and your taxes, are you dealing with like a chairman uh, 10, a chairman 100, a chairman 1 million? Are you, what are you dealing with it like, right? And so if you're not, if you're dealing with, if you're dealing with business like a chairman, but you're not, you're missing a whole other part. Yeah. You're only taking, you're only taking 50%. So you got to, in order to speed this process up, you've got to mature on, you're only doing half, you're only doing one half. So you got, again, you got um, business. So you got, let's just put business and then you got life. Two different sides, right? You're doing 50% um, or probably, this is probably what you're doing. Yeah. I'm sorry, 100% and zero on the life, right? So people are acting retarded at, because think about this, people are acting retarded at the grind house, acting fucking stupid, all this other shit. Why? Because um, they're not they're not dealing, they're not putting their life maturity, the, the maturity of a chairman into the life, okay? Start putting the mature, maturity of chairman into the life if you want to get faster results. This will skyrocket your, this is, one leg that you have, and this is your other leg. Oh, shit. That's how you walk. You otherwise you're hopping. And are you hopping right now? Think about that. Are you hop? Yeah. Are you struggling? Does it feel like you have one leg? Right? I'm just being real. Like, think about that. Yeah, probably. Because you're choosing to do that. You're not choosing to. So you become aware of that. Right? So awareness. Now, what you do is you start operating not business as a chairman. You start operating life as a chairman, okay? And so now what happens is, is when you say, um, okay, cool, I gotta go buy some shoes, but you're buying shoes as a chairman. When you're what, like, how how can you become something if you're not it? If you're not, how can you be? How can you expect to be a chairman if chairman is in your is in is a life? If I don't work today, I'm still a chairman. So how come when you clock out, you clock off chairman? Does this make sense? Yeah. You don't you don't clock off as a chairman, you're getting paid residually. It's a life. It's a life. If I die right now, I die to chairman. Okay? So what you gotta be thinking is you're clocking off and so you never you're not tapped in. So how can you the universe cannot give you chairman because you're not being chairman in your life? Does this make sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. So now once you do that, the universe is like, okay, cool, now I got you. Like, I understand, now you're getting ready, now you're getting ready, now you're getting ready. And you start going through this right here, right? Now you start going here, you start operating on the higher, higher level of yourself. Your awareness starts to grow because every single time you say, I'm going to take this call as a chairman, now you clock out. I, I, I mean, literally, I don't give a fuck. Listen, even if, if you're drinking, it's like a chairman. And you're drinking, right, maturely or whatever. You're, you're moving deliberately. You're, wa you're, you're walking to the beach as a chairman. You're taking calls as a chairman. You're, you're handling your problems with, on your, on, in business like a chairman. And then when you clock out, you're handling, handling life as a chairman because you're, it's only, it's not one or the other. It's not, it's, not, it's not business and life. You do both, right? Now when you start doing that, every single time you, start, you operate and you say, well, how, what would a chairman do? It starts to go into your subconscious mind. Now once you believe it, then it, it manifests into your life. The reason why you don't believe it is because you're only grinding like a chairman, but you're not attracting, you're not, you're not becoming a chairman. You're grinding like one. You're, there's a difference between grinding and becoming and being one, right? So you want to keep, every single time you say, right, um, whatever your higher self's names are too, right? So whatever it is, so um, how do you say it? I'm sorry. Paula. Paula? So Paul, Paula, right, operating from here. That's how she sees it. So every single time she taps in, she gets, she moves closer, right, and closer and closer every single time. What would a chairman do? Boom. What would a chairman do? Boom. Right. And now what happens is, is it's also like this. This, okay, this I'm if it, I'm heightening your right now. I'm heightening I'm heightening your awareness. Right, this is for everyone. This is the most important training ever in your life right now. Literally, I swear to God, because this is this is, success is spiritual. You guys have the grind. You don't have the spirituality of it. That's why you're not getting what you want. Okay, 
So this is, this helps you, this grows your awareness. Once you're you're aware of something and you start doing it, what did I say happens with you? You start to become what? More confident. You start to become more confident. So your confidence is your higher power. So when you're more aware and you start becoming more confident of your um, your spiritual side of success, you can move faster. Why is it now that when you get on a call, you attack the call? You're moving deliberately, right? Because your confidence level goes up. So look. So let this be, um, now let this be your current, and then can someone turn the fucking AC down? Jesus, Drake, come in line. All right, and then success, uh, success version, right? Let this be uh, chairman, and then let this be current, all right? Well, this is what I've realized in, in Drake. It's had to have happened for you too. I mean, I, I don't know. This is just me being, this is, this is why I'm saying awareness. I don't know if this is true. I just, look, I'm just really good at looking at the big, big picture and then, and then I reverse engineer and that's how I do a lot of things. Now, my thing is, is Caleb, right? Cash Cartier. Now, what I realized was this. At first, I was just this guy, right? Then, what happened was, um, what happened was, is I kept posting. And every time I would make a post, I, 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 become, I, be, I began to really believe, truly, that the person online was, was, was this rich cash card. Yeah, like in my head, the, the, what, what everyone sees now is how I, I, I really have always, like, in my mind, my Instagram has not changed. My lifestyle has not changed. I truly have always actually believed that. Like, I, like, like, I mean, so, like, I, I didn't, I wasn't trying to lie to myself either is what I'm saying. I truly believed I was posting as a very rich person the whole time. Like, I, I actually truly believed that. All right? And so, people were talking trash to me and all this other shit, and I literally actually thought that they were tripping. I literally actually thought that they were tripping. Like I really, I'm like, I'm like, wow, that's fucking crazy. The same way they do to me now is the same. It's the same shit. I'm just like, what the fuck's now? Here's my thing. What would happen is, is I would clock off though, all right? Which is still good. I still got a lot in there. But what happened is, is uh, once I wasn't on IG, okay. So when this is me in IG, all right. But then this was me in life. This is me in life. So get this now. Like, yeah, yeah. So I also had a job. Okay, so okay, you know, that's a job. And when I would go to work, I would feel um, I would feel almost embarrassed because I didn't want I didn't I didn't I, I that was when I was like I can't explain it yeah. here, huh? It, it's just like this weird thing here where it's like here I truly believe I truly believe when I'm making a post and all this other shit I, I was I, I was rich. I never told anyone I was rich. I just I just moved like I was. I was writing as if, like I was never, I never lied, I never said I was rich, but, but they, they got my mentality, right? Yeah. So the posts I make are the posts I've always been making. So, but now the thing was, is I, when I would go to, to my, uh, my job, then I would become more aware that that's not me, if that makes sense. Yeah. And that's when I was like, almost kind of embarrassed. I didn't want people to, to, to know my dreams and all this other shit. And they'd be like, oh man, you have an, an IG? And I'm like, yeah. And they'd be like, damn, that's crazy. Like, like you're just a whole... You have a person over here. They know me as this funny kid that, that works hard over here, but they don't know that person. Why how, Like, how, why is it so weird to them? It's because it, there's two different mindsets. It's because they're two different people. Yeah. It's because they know my lower version of myself, yeah. not my higher version. So there really is two different people, literally. Yeah. Okay? You're, you're literally not the same person as you were whatever, like literally. So here's my point now. I continue to keep posting all this other shit. And remember I talk about detaching and I talk about uh, you're connected to everything, attached to nothing. I, be I, be I, I began to detach, detach from here. So I, de I began to detach or detach. I, now I'm drifting away from this name. I'm drifting away from that, that life. I, I'm, I'm leaving that now. And I, could, I felt myself going into here. Now, do you, do you guys remember what my name was before we went, uh, before we literally told everyone Cash Cartier? Do you remember what it was during my transition? Cash. Huh? Caleb Cash. 
Yep. Caleb Cash. That's wow. crazy. I used to have that. I used to use that in my phone. Caleb Cash. Yep. So now I'm detaching. I don't keep in mind. I'll what did I just tell you? I'm using my awareness from how I seen it, how I personally perceive this to happen. Meaning, and when I go back and look, does that not make sense? So now, I'm, you can see me literally changing and becoming, and keep in mind, when, it, when this was, they started becoming, a, 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 when I went over to Caleb Cash, what was going on with the business? It, 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 was, it was just growing. It, be, it was, that was when it was also just starting to grow. Like to the point where it was, like we knew something, we knew this time it was different at that point, at Caleb Cash, right? Then, I, I really, I, I really like all of a sudden remember just like, and this is why I also say, remember, I, I said when, when I was, when I was chasing success, um, my, my mentality was I, was, I was more negative and this was the positive or whatever. And I kept like, I, I was like, okay, I can get to chairman. I can get to chairman. I can get to chairman. And I started down here and I was always, then I remember telling you guys, I was like, there, I remember there being a shit. Like, at, at first, I could barely get myself to, to not doubt. I was always doubting myself. I was always, and then, bow, right? So look, that's what I believe this was. That was when I was there. Mm -hmm. Then we go, we went to, right, full-blown Cash Cartier. Now what happened was, chairman, boom, right? Now all of a sudden, chairman, and now, Right? This is who I become. I don't even, I take no, I don't, I'm just, that's just who I am now. Right? So that's just who I am now. Right? So I detach. But look at this as well. What did I, uh, what, what did I tell you guys, you, uh, for you, those of you that were with me during the Chairman 50 grind, right? When, um, th you gotta look like, this doesn't stop. Think, like, think, be aware. Okay? This doesn't stop. This is for you too. Uh, for all of, uh, all of us in here, but so look at my point of view again, Chairman 25, then Chairman 25, okay? Then, let's say Chairman 50 is over here. I agree. Right? You say you agree? Yes, I agree. You chat. It's like different lives. Boom. Now, all right, don't, don't get twisted. When you double your income, it's a life change. Okay? So you have to you have to understand why do you detach? It's so you can get away from the or you're shedding your skin. That's your chairman, that's your that's your P2K. You wanna you wanna get to P5K. This is the shedding right here. So now as I start feeling this transition is what I believe. Because I start be, I just am just I'm very aware. I'm just so aware. I don't know what it is. I'm just you feel I, you start to tell it when you start to feel that middle part. That middle part, and I'm like, I can see myself leaving chairman. I I and I, I literally was saying that. Before I hit channel 50, I was like, I can, I can feel myself detaching, uh, detaching right now. Yeah. And I can see, I, I can, it's almost as if, you know when you're, uh, you know when you're in the water and you, there's like a, and someone's on a tube, just sitting on a tube and then you just, you just push them yeah. and then they, and then after that momentum goes, it just, they just go, they float away, right? That's how much, that's how I feel right there. So now it's like, I let go there and now I'm just like, I literally, in the spiritual side of things, I'm like. Bam, Chairman 50. Did that make sense? All of a sudden, I'm literally just going, I'm getting, I'm getting floating back, I'm floating, I'm floating. I let go, right? I just like, it's almost like the, um, it's like this leap of like quantum, oh shit. It's like, that's the quantum leap. It's that like quantum leap. Because you gotta be thinking, it's not one person to hit, it's not like, okay, it's not like if you're one away from Chairman uh, 25 to Chairman 50, it's not one person. That's 50, that's a whole, Years in someone's yearly income added to my check, right? So it's not just on oh, one person you're chairman 50. No, that's a quantum leap in your check, your checking account. You have to grow more to so keep getting, you have to grow way more. So for you guys, um, for you guys to get to chairman um, 10 and, and all this other stuff, is we have to grow more between these ranks because the money is so much more. So we have, it's actually technically would be harder. But the thing, the difference is, is we're getting better. We're getting, no, just getting better, right? So don't wish it was easy, wish you were getting better, wish you were better, right? So we're good, we're, we're getting, we're better at getting better. And so we get better a lot quicker. It's kind of like once you're in shape, okay? Once you're in shape, um, it, it's, 
those people are struggling to pick up 20, 25 pounds. We could be over here benching 400 pounds, and yeah, it's heavier for us, but we're still pushing the weight even, even, even more than they are at the lighter weight. Why is that? It's because we got stronger, we got better. So you gotta understand that this is that you detach, you let go. How can I become a chairman, uh, chairman 50, right? Or listen, I don't even like to talk about that. How do you like becoming a chairman? How am I gonna become a chairman 100 if I'm attached to chairman 50? I have to detach from chairman 50 to let my, myself glide to the chairman 100. That's how you, how do I blossom ranks? I was never at them. I was never attached to them. Does that make sense? So boom, now you're operating here. Okay, cool, I'm literally done now. Okay, so look, you're, you're operating here. This is high, uh, lower version, higher version. You're detaching, this is the gray area. And then boom, all of a sudden you become that person. Now what, what happens, right? This is what's crazy. They say, um, this, let this represent the overnight success. And this is why, which is actually almost technically true. Think about the, the six, think about uh, 5K, think about 2K to, to 5K, right? Think about why is that people can make $600 a month, they can come in there and blast $600 a month, $1,000 a month, because it, they, they've already, that's just, that's, that's normal. That's like a normal thing, it's a normal income. Yeah. But when you start, 5K a month is not a normal income. Why do so many people stop at, at, two, uh, at 2K, 5K, why do they get stuck around there? Oh, it's because, it's because, that is a drastic change for, in their mind anyways. That's a quantum leap for them to get there. So it's easier to get to the boom, 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 boom. That makes more sense. But when you start thinking, man, chairman, you know, or you start thinking even 2K to 5K, you're like, now you're like, that's big boy money. 5K a month is big boy money. You're not, you're able to do a lot of shit with 5K. I don't give a fuck how much money I'm making. Like people are like, oh, it's only 5K. 5K is a lot of fucking money. All right. So at the end of the day, you gotta be thinking the reason why people are not getting there is literally because um, it's literally because it seems like it's such a far gap in, in, in all this other shit. If, and then when you get there, it's an overnight success because so much money. You just think about what you just did in your life. You just you just changed your life literally from something you're this broke kid at 2K and all this other shit to all of a sudden you're just teleported into it. Uh, the top 10% in society wow. in the world. Wow. Think about that for a second. You you have to literally change wow. to from, it's not, don't look at it as a couple of people. You have to literally change in uh, from a broke, think about what the universe has to do, like think about this shit. How do you, how do you go from you to, to make it from 2K, the 2K version of 5K? Like that is a change, like a big change from you being broke to overnight success. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it is an overnight success once you get there. Because yes, think about how crazy this is. So today you're at whatever rank, and then you could be one person away today, and then tomorrow you hit it. So now literally, in one day overnight, you're a whole new lifestyle. It is an overnight success. And a lot's gotta happen to get you to that one that, that one person away. Because then you're because now, boom, now guess what happens? Once you pop through. Once you pop through, okay, and this is literally what it looks like. It's the same exact thing, draw the same thing up. Once you pop through, all right, and the reason why is I don't want that tunnel anymore. I don't want the tunnel to be there because it just boop. And now the second you, when you hit chairman, think about this. When you get, you get shouted out at 2K, you know, and, all, and even at 5K, you're gonna get those flyers hit. Once you hit fucking chairman, it, it's it's like oh, of course it's a big rank. Now it's funny because we don't look at it. We don't look at the spiritual side of shit. Look, it, it it's yes, it's a big rank. So of course people are shouting you out, and so of course more people are praising you for that. But it's a lifestyle change. It the the universe. Once you pop the chairman, you pop almost into fame. So now you're getting tagged by a whole bunch more people. Your, your following's growing. It's going boom. So your shout outs are, is what's pushing you. Like all of this has to, the universe has to do so much right here to make that happen overnight. So now but you hit it, it's like boom. And now all of a sudden your whole life literally changed. Now all of a sudden you got fucking DMs up the ass. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, um, you know, it's like they're just the floodgates open up. 
All of a sudden you got DMs up the ass. All of a sudden you got oh, you're tagged around everywhere. Now all of a sudden you're famous. Everyone wants to talk to you. People want you on trainings. All this other shit. You, it was not the same as over here. It's just right and you pop up, boom, and you got so much life going on because you popped through the wormhole and now you literally popped into a whole different life. You literally are gone, you just, boop, gone. You know what I mean? That person that you is gone, you pop right into that shit. Does that make sense? It's a good word. Yeah. Amen. That's it.